Hey everybody, this is Royce here with the Gates 3 Designs and I am back with another episode. Today here I am coming to you with a Revit tutorial. This is a uh, house that I did in Revit, uh, Revit 2020 actually. Let's check out our layout here. Yeah, the layout I have, you know, a quick section here and elevation section there, elevation, floor plan perspective and a couple renderings here. And um, I just want to do a quick little, uh, a quick wall section showing how to add uh, some detail for a detailed drawing. Um, if you are interested in downloading this file, you can visit gates3designs.net. And there I have uh, several other files. Mainly I have a lot of SketchUp files. I've done a lot of SketchUp videos and a lot of renderings. And I'm starting to get more into the... Uh, Revit drawings and Revit tutorials, but um, if you're interested in downloading this file here and uh, if you want to import it into SketchUp and do a rendering or if this is just something you're interested in, feel free to visit gates3designs.net and uh, download this file. But let's go ahead to level one. So, all right, so like I said, this is a uh, Revit 2020. And so let's go ahead and let's go to uh, view. And we're going to go ahead and select a section. Uh, we're not going to save right now. And let's just cut a section right here. I just want to do a wall section here. I just want to add some details. So, um, where is that? By the door? Yeah, I don't mind that it's by the door. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this 3 16 All right. Let's kind of open this up a little bit. You know, and so looking here, it's kind of, it's really plain, right? So one thing I did to help me when I get to this point was when I was drawing my walls, I made sure I went into edit type and I detailed my two by six wall. So, and so I put my, my cladding and my jip board inside. So that'll help out a lot when I get to the section. The reason you can't see it now, because you have to go to your detail level course or detail level and instead of selecting course, you wanna select fine. There we go. So and you see there it's in our floor and we got some detail here. So now this, this outside here, that's uh, some cladding material that I have. And then I have a uh, so like an air barrier, then my jip here and my jip here. So typically looking in a section, what you'll see is you'll see a block here to support the roof and to uh, to connect everything actually. So what we'll do is you can, you can do it this way. You could go into annotate and then you can go into components and your detail components. And we look at what's in there. It's not much but you can go into edit type and let's see if we can find some block if there's so much and if you're new to Revit this could be very overwhelming I totally understand that it could be very overwhelming but once you do it so many times like anything else you'll get used to it but let's go into detail items and let's see so we have some general things here you know your brake line you're gonna use that a lot um, concrete, masonry, metals, but let's see here. Let's go into wood and plastic and let's go into wood framing. And you have cut lumber here. This will be a good one to use because it gives you that, that cut section that you want. Um, you have other views here. Got a rough cut there. You know, um, so either one is either one should be fine uh, yeah either one of these sections let's go ahead and go with that one and these are the different sizes it's going to give you once you load it into your project um, so two by three just hit spacebar to flip it around like this because we're gonna want it like up here like that but we don't want a two by three um, so let's pick a bigger size alright so let's use the uh, four by six there and uh, but yeah so we have our two blocks here just we're, we're trying to just give this some detail so 
typically also you'll have some insulation so let's go ahead and add our insulation in here and you see it gives you a width there that's a three and a half we don't want that because we want this space right so if you need to you can just go ahead and do a quick measure do a quick measure five and a half because a two by six is actually one and a half by five and a half so we're just going to make this five and a half there and this is a exterior wall which is why it's, I made it a two by six let's go ahead and give it this detail here uh, we can doctor this up a little bit better that's fine there you know so now when you cut into that section you got a nice some detail going on you know and you we can in my next video we'll get into calling out you know showing how what what text sizes and everything i use to call out and what exactly to call it like what type of bat insulation is this uh calling out your cladding calling out your jip board um and also get into the roof too you know there's more detail into a flat roof um how do you plan to allow water to escape um cutting a section is a great way of telling how that works um so sections are great but um for starters uh how to get details is just simply go into annotate component and detail component and you're going to have to load in going through edit type load in some things and going through those folders to find those things and like I said it could be a little overwhelming in the beginning but once you find things and you do it over and over again it'll become easy it'll be very simple so so like I said if you're interested in downloading this Revit file um, you can download this at gates3designs.net um, along with SketchUp files if you use SketchUp there's a a bunch of SketchUp files there for renderings or anything like that but um, yep this will be at gates3designs.net and you can download this the way it is and it's yours so um, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it informative and uh, see you guys next time